Good morning, everybody. Michael the Maven. If you stick around to the end of the video, I will tell you how to get a brand new Maven mini bike kit at a huge discount for a limited time only. Today, we're going to be talking about onboard microphones for our DSLR or mirrorless camera. There is a very short answer to this, and there is a much longer technical answer to this. If you're interested in some of the history and the reasoning and some of the tests that we've done, definitely stick around. So a universal truth is that if you're trying to record audio off the internal microphone on your camera, you're going to be disappointed because the audio quality is atrocious on pretty much every camera. A second universal truth is that the preamps in most of the modern cameras that we're shooting with today are terrible. A preamp is essentially is a signal regulator. So as the audio comes into the camera, the preamp boosts the signal so the camera can record it in such a way that we can hear it when we play it back. The problem with preamps is many of them are noisy and grainy, and this was a bigger problem in the past. There are some cameras now that are actually pretty good. I, I tend to like the Fuji cameras. I think their preamps sound great. Canon, unfortunately, the preamps are not the greatest. They're, they're a little bit noisy and grainy, and there's this misperception is that, that the microphone is causing this. No, it's, it's often the preamp of the camera. So in the past, to kind of get around this, I would, I would recommend the Rode Video Pro. And this is a two to $300, depending on which model you get. Uh, it's a larger shotgun microphone. I have a dead cat on it, which is uh, essentially absorbs wind when wind blows on it to, to minimize the, the sound of wind. In the past, I have probably sold tens of thousands of these for Rode because I would give the recommendation, but there were a number of problems with it, even though I think it sounds pretty great. So the first problem is the budget, is that many of my students are, are buying cameras that are maybe four or $500, and they don't have two or $300 to go out and buy a microphone like this. So the question for me became, you know, which microphone under 50 or $60 should I be recommending to my students? that I've had hands-on, that I'm familiar with, that I know something about, and I can confidently recommend that microphone. There's some other problems with this mic in that this microphone never lived in my camera bag. I would only bring it along for certain shoots where I thought I would need it, and the rest of the time it stayed at home. And the reason is, it's big. And there's this dead cat I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull off. It's bigger than the Maven mic. You can see how much smaller it is. This is 43 grams just a couple inches long, and this is made out of metal. It's very strong. I was constantly afraid of crushing this in my camera bag or breaking it. Another thing I don't like about it is it runs off a battery, a nine volt battery, which is, this is the only device that I have that runs on a nine volt battery. So I'd have to go out and buy all these nine volt batteries and have an extra one in my bag. And if the battery went out, then now I'm out of luck. Uh, it's, it has some cool features, such as an attenuator and a boost, but what I learned was even using this microphone, I would still have to clean it up in post, and I have a video that will show you how to do that. So the conclusion that I came to because of the size, the cost, the need for a battery, because I was worried about breaking it, I started to feel uncomfortable recommending it to beginning photographers who may not even know if they wanna get serious into videography, right? And this was something that was on my mind for years, but because I owned it and used it and had, had experience with it, this is what I recommended. No longer recommending this as a first microphone for beginners. You can spend thousands of dollars on your audio setup, but beginners should have a microphone that can live in their camera bag, meaning it's small and light enough, it's strong enough, and the audio quality is good enough to get that basic surround sound. So I wanna give you a little bit of history in terms of how the Maven Mini mic came to be in that I was working with Tony and Chelsea Northrup on some microphone questions. And the question that we had was, what was the best cheap microphone? We had 11 microphones. Tony put together this amazing test where he had Justin read these samples. Maybe some of you took it. We had hundreds of people respond to it. Microphone like the Video Micro from Rode. We had the Video Rode Go. We had the Movo, we had a bunch of different microphones, I'll list them. And in the end, we, there was a microphone that won this random poll that we had never heard of. And uh, I decided to research it a little bit more, contacted the company, long story short, 
that microphone that won that contest is now known as the Maven Mini Mic. Tony and Chelsea didn't want to partner with me on this. They graciously did this test for me for free, no strings. So it was a blind independent test and I'll list those microphones in the, in the description. But suffice it to say the best sounding audio from those respondents was what we know today as the Maven Mini Mic. This solves a lot of problems for me because I can recommend it to my students who are on a budget and they're looking for a microphone that lives in the camera bag. One of the microphones we had in the test is a very popular Rode Video Micro. This is it right here. Uh, very popular. I know many people that own it and like it. I personally can hear the difference and uh, there were some things that I learned, even though these microphones, they're about the same size and shape, even the MOBO, we had a VXR10, looks almost identical to the Maven Mini Mic, sounds completely different. So the housing is different than the microphone capsule in, in the tip of it. Suffice it to say, the, the Rode Micro, it's, it's like $60, tons of them have been sold. There are some problems with this I'm gonna point out real quick. The first is pretty obvious in that it has this tapered end like this. And one of the problems that I ran into when I was using it, this is, this is the one made by Rode, you can see the tag right here, is that when you put the dead cat on, is that the tapered end, if it's not somehow snug on the end, it becomes loose. And so when you're shooting and the wind's blowing, this is a real pain. And so the Maven Mini Mic also comes with a dead cat. Looks almost exactly the same because we don't have the tapered end, is that the dead cat stays so much better on this. You don't have to worry about the dead cat coming off. The second problem that I've read in the reviews with the Rode Micro is that the cable will sometimes become loose over time. And I think it's actually the cable because I can see part of the, the coating wearing off. But if, if you put this in and out enough times, apparently it becomes loose. I haven't personally experienced that. But the, the number one problem that I have with this microphone is its frequency range. Uh, microphones have frequency ranges that they're designed to pick up certain frequencies. The frequency on the road is from 100 hertz to 20 kilohertz. That may not sound like, sound like a big deal, but if you are record, recording the voice of a male and you want those lower frequency ranges, they may not be there. And this is something that I hear when I listen to this microphone is it sounds almost a little tinny, like somebody's talking into a tin can. The frequency range on the Maven Mini Mic is 20 hertz up to 16 kilohertz. So when we're looking at the frequency range of a male human voice, for example, it's 85 hertz to 180 hertz. And then when we're listening to a female voice, it's 165 to 255 hertz. So what I'm saying is one of the reasons I believe I can hear this sound and maybe it didn't do as well as in the test is that listeners can hear that it kind of leans a little bit towards higher frequencies, whereas the Maven Mini Mic is 80 hertz lower in terms of its range. Microphone can be very subjective to voice. So one microphone might sound better for one voice versus the other. And this is why that poll was so important is when we had hundreds of people responding and they say this is the best sounding one, then you, you know you got something special. So that is the very long answer about the Maven Mini Mic is it sounded better. I like, like the build better than, than the Rode Video Pro. It's, it can live in my, it does, it lives in my camera bag. The, the microphone stands that come with them, I'm not a huge fan of them to be honest, but we've included two of them just in case you lose or break one by accident. I like the microphone stand in the video micro a little bit more, but in the end, the audio quality and the ease of use are more important to me. So that is why I recommend the Maven Mini Mic to my students now. So something you should be aware of, and as a side note, microphones have different purposes. For example, I typically record on a lav mic. I have a lav mic right now. It's a that over a thousand dollar setup. I use it all the time. It's my bread and butter. Labs are great because the microphone is very close to your mouth, and the closer you can get that microphone to your mouth, the the stronger the signal to noise ratio. It's going to sound great. But not everybody can afford a thousand dollar lav microphone. You know, especially when you're first getting started. I will be making some lav recommendations hopefully later this year. Do some similar tests and probably have those results for you as well. 
For those of you that have stuck around, because we just started selling these a couple weeks ago, we have a promotion on Amazon where you can get this for more than 50% off. It is a smoking good deal. I don't make any money on it. All I'm trying to do is to get these in the hands of users to get some reviews posted on Amazon. So if you like it, we would love to earn your positive review. And I will put that coupon code in the description below and it'll be there until supplies run out. The last time I did this a couple weeks ago, we sold out in 20 minutes. So, so if you need a good onboard microphone, check out the Maven Mini Mic. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.